morning and welcome to my channel. Thanks for watching and thanks for everybody uh, for subscribing. I really appreciate that. Today we are in Tokyo, Disney Tokyo to be exact. And before we check in, I wanted to show you a little bit about the Disney Ambassador Hotel, which is considered kind of a, a budget hotel for Disney, but it's not really that budget. It's, it's cheap in regard to the other hotels, but the amenities are just as good and better than anything you'll find in Orlando or Anaheim. So it's really early in the morning. Let's go inside and take a look at what the Disney Ambassador Hotel looks like. And I am not being paid or this is not endorsed by any Disney corporation. The hotel didn't pay me to come here. I'm here on vacation with my wife and my five-year-old. And if they had paid me, I'd probably be at a better hotel, but this is pretty good. Now, while this budget hotel doesn't have a lot of amenities, it does have a gift shop back here. There you go. You can buy all kinds of things, milk, there's um, water, there's just snacks for the road, there's rice balls, there's everything. There's also a Disney store here. So if you want to grab something that you didn't see at the park, they also have a store. Now, the cool thing about this hotel is it offers something that I'm not sure that the other hotels do because I had originally booked at a higher priced hotel but then realized that maybe it wasn't worth the money. So as you walk down this hallway, when you walk into the Ambassador Hotel, to the, you go to the right and you walk down this hallway, you're gonna find the three main hotels that the Disney Ambassador has. And one is called Hanahana. Hanahana is gonna be more of an upscale um, Asian restaurant, Asian fusion, uh, pretty expensive. So we did not eat there, I did not eat there. Then there's the Tik Tok diner, which we did eat in. They also have the Empire Grill, which um, obviously it's a grill, it has like steaks and stuff. That's also another higher end restaurant in the Disney Ambassador Hotel that I did not eat at. They have Chef Mickey, which is actually <clears throat> really worth it. Chef Mickey is a restaurant where it's like a character breakfast, but the food is just amazing. There's a Japanese side and there's an American side. So you can get pancakes, sausage, eggs, everything that you'd normally want to get for breakfast. But there's also the Japanese side where you can get like traditional Japanese breakfast food. The cool part about that is, and it's a little extra, you can only get it here at the Disney Ambassador Hotel. And all the characters come out to say hello. There's Mickey, there's Donald, there's Daisy. Um, I, I don't think Goofy was there. There's Minnie Mouse. And they are more than willing to hang around with you and take pictures. You, your whole family, your kids alone, selfies. Like there's no rush. They will walk around as much as they have to to satisfy the guests, which I think is really fantastic. And the food is really, really good as well. And the kids will absolutely love it. It'll blow their minds. Well, now, I didn't realize this, but there's also a Chef Mickey dinner, and I think there's a lunch as well. We did the breakfast, and we were in at seven, and out at 7.45, and it's about a 10 minute ride to the park, so we were at the park by 8.15, which is probably a solid plan if you've only got a few days to spend here like we did. When you come to the Ambassador Hotel, like I said, you can go to that mall to eat, which is probably a better option and you just come out these doors which are to the left of the Chef Mickey entrance and you're you're out into the courtyard. If you go through those doors, right there, that will take you to the mall that I spoke of earlier. And that mall is probably the best place for you to grab food, snacks, uh, beverages, there's a Starbucks, there's a whole ton of uh, food court options. And when I say food court options, don't think like Sabaro and all that cheesy crap you see in the United States. This is like really high end. There's noodles, there's steak, there's hamburger steak, there's fish, there's everything you can imagine. And what it is, is it's counter service. So you walk up there, you order your food, and then you find a table and then you grab your food and come down. It's less expensive than any of the hotels. It's just as good or better. And there's also a bigger grocery store in there that you can do some shopping. These Disney Ambassador Hotels has a refrigerator so you can buy stuff there and then just bring it inside. So we're in the lobby of the Ambassador Hotel. I'm getting into the elevator now. The room has been made. I kind of want to show you what the room is like at the Ambassador Disney Hotel Tokyo. Let's go to the room. I'm in room 4012. So let's go down the hallway and see. Just... Here's a room, a button. Right when you walk in, boom, turns everything on. I mean everything. Okay, 
So this is the Disney World Ambassador room. It's a superior room, but it doesn't mean a lot because we were upgraded. We wanted a regular room and they're like, well, they're offering a special automatically a free upgrade to superior room. And we're like, okay, fine. First we have the bathroom. There you go. So you get, you get your glasses. You get this cup, which I think is pretty cool that you get to keep. It's a little Mickey Mouse cup here. There you go, there's the focus. That you get to keep. They give you toothbrushes. Uh, they give you everything. So the shower is one room, and let me just see how this is set up. It's one room, I don't have a wide lens, so I apologize. It's a one room. This is the tub, which is nice, they give you for shampoo and a conditioner there. But here's the weird part, so there's that bucket and bowl, and, and there's a thing of body soap there. What I didn't realize is that this whole area, right in here, is also a shower. So literally, you put your shower head up there, you just shut the door. And that whole area, there's the drain, is a shower, which I thought was weird. Now, I'm a huge fan of water pressure. I had this thing, let me show you the nozzle. This nozzle goes all the way to here. You would turn it and it would get to here. I had it up to here, only up to there, right? I thought for sure it was gonna blow me through that wall. The pressure was so high, I couldn't believe it. It was fantastic. So. Kudos to you, Disney Ambassador, for blowing me, almost blowing me through the wall with your water pressure. I love that. Now let's check the toilet, and yes, it does have one of those fancy, fancy Japanese toilets. Now I do know not to use any of those, because you get water blowing up your butt, and maybe you don't want that. Um, but the seat, God, Vinny, please tell me you flushed my hand. The seat is warm. It's super warm. So I don't know how to turn that off. There's also a phone in here. Why do hotels put telephones in the bathroom? That is, the, as a germaphobe, grossest thing I've ever seen in my life. Nasty. It's almost as gross as having like a TV or remote in the bathroom. You have a closet. Okay, where my wife has her stuff in here. It's a normal closet. I think you have a safe as well. Yeah, there's a safe in the wall. There it is. Continuing on with the tour. Oh, this is the fridge, right? So there's a refrigerator there and some storage. To Here's what the room looks like now. If you're a newlywed and you've only been married maybe a year or two years or you're dating or you wanna bring your girlfriend here, then this bed is gonna be awesome for you, okay? If you have children uh, and you've been married more than five years, this bed probably ain't gonna do for two people. So in other words, uh, and I'm just kidding, it's, it's just funny. They're, they're actually smaller than a full-size bed, so it's gonna be tight quarters for a husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever to sleep next to each other. It's gonna be a little tight, cozy, but not un not undoable. Uh, my wife and I found it nice. So this is a cool part here. Yeah, they give you pajamas. I feel fancy. I feel fancy because Disney has given me pajamas to wear and I'm kind of like a t-shirt and whatever type of guy. You can see they do have like Mickey stuff like on the walls here. So the view outside is nice. We're actually facing the front of the hotel. So like you can see, you can see out there, and the buses roll in and they have like a nice little thing going on now where yeah, there's a bus now rolling in. So that's the Disney Ambassador Hotel room. Um, they do offer free shuttles from the hotel to Disney Sea Tokyo and Disneyland Tokyo, which we took full advantage of. The shuttles are actually very cool. You'll see the buses arriving and taking off, and they're actually these cool buses with like side skirts covering the back wheels. Really retro, but super modern inside. They run about every 15 to 20 minutes. The buses make it more convenient when you're lugging all your stuff home. So this is a Disney Ambassador Hotel. I'll do some more shooting during the daytime and incorporate it into this video, like now.